Hey guys, it's Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to change the batteries in your ADT um, slash Ademco key fobs. Okay. Now you can bring these to like Walmart or Walgreens or something like that and they'll change the batteries for you. But 80% of the time they'll put the battery in upside down. You get home and your key fob still doesn't work. And then you think it's a bad key fob. Then you call ADT and say, hey guys, can you come out and replace my key fob? It's bad. The ADT guy is going to show up, open the key fob up, and he's going to see the batteries he put in backwards. Then he's going to give you a bill for $150 to replace the battery because he's going to charge you $25 for the battery. And he's going to charge you a hundred and some odd dollars for the service call. So save yourself a lot of time, money, and headaches and replace the batteries yourself. They are extremely easy to do. Or have a relative come over and help you with this. Um, just follow along with the video and you'll be able to replace the batteries on this. Now, the battery that you need for these key fobs is a CR... Uh, what are they, 2032s? Or I'm gonna, I'll find out exactly when I open one of these up. I think it's 2032. Or is it 3032? I can't remember. Anyways, there's two different styles of key fobs. One's a little bit rounder. They call it the ergonomic type. And the older one that everybody's really familiar with. So I'll do, I'll, I'm going to do the uh, replacement on this. It, it, this replaces exactly the same. I mean, exactly. I just wanted to show you the two different styles. So let's just put this one to the side. Now, to open one of these up, you're just going to need... A Phillips head screwdriver and a dime. That's all you're going to need to open this up. You flip it over. There's a Phillips head screw on the back of this. Okay. A couple of turns. Take the Phillips head screw out. Just set it to the side. Now, on the side of this, you'll see a little groove. And dime will fit right into that groove. You put it in the groove and you give it a little twist and it cracks the case right open for you, okay? Now, that nothing's really <coughs> gonna fall out except for, <coughs> excuse me, um, the key the keychain thing, and I'm gonna show you how to put that back in in case it falls out and you go, oh no, what was that? Not to worry. Okay, now, now that I'm looking at the battery, it is a CR20, uh, 20, Thirty-two. Okay, and that's a Panasonic. Now, if you look at the way that this battery is in here, I'm going to try to get you guys focused on it. All right. Now, if you notice, positive is pointing towards you. All right, pointing towards you. You get your new battery, and now you're going to need. Oh, hang on. Let me just refocus you guys so you get your new battery I don't have a new battery with me but I'm just gonna pretend this this when I take it out as a new one all you do is take a flathead screwdriver where's my oh there is take a little, little tiny flathead screwdriver and put it underneath the battery and just give it a little pop and it pops right up and it's out okay you take your new battery a CR 2032 Make sure that little positive sign is pointing towards you, all right? And you just put it in, give it a little push down. Basically, you, you put it in and push it against these little metal pins up here, and you push it slightly that way and push down, and it'll click right in, all right? Now, your new battery is in. Now, your little keychain thing fell out, okay? And if you notice on your keychain, it's got two little, two little knobs. Oh, let me just see if I can get you guys in here again. See these two little nubbies? Oh, let me just get you more focus here. See those two little nubby things? One here and one there. And then on the key fob. Ah, let me get you. <laughs> uh, 
crazy, isn't it? And there's two little holes here. And those little nubbies just go right into it. I'm sorry about my focusing, guys. It's terrible. But it, it just sets right in there. You'll, you'll see it. Then you take your cover, put it back on. Squeeze it. It gives a little click. And put your screw back in. And that, guys, is how you replace a battery on a ADT slash a Demco T fob. All right. And that's that's all there is to it, guys. Man, where's the center of my picture here? Right there. And then, like I said, this ego egonomically one, it's the same exact thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop it open for you real quick, just to show you that's the same, like that. Take the screw out. Remember, right on the side, it's got this little groove thing right there. You stick a dime in there, pop it. Oh, my little keychain thing fell out again. And you can see the little knobbies things on it. And if you look on the key fob, it's got two little holes where those go down in. And you just simply just lay it down in there. And of course, you know, pop your pop your battery out. Remember positive side towards you and you stick it in here and you push this way where my point towards my finger and you'll feel it click take the back cover put it back on you just push it goes click take your screwdriver put your screw back in And you have just now replaced two batteries in your key fobs. And again, the, the um, battery that you need is a CR2032. It doesn't have to be Panasonic or anything like that, that that comes with them. You can use Duracell or whatever other ones, you know, Ray, Ray, Ray something or other. Um, it doesn't matter. Duracell does work the best, guys. It really does. Or if you can get the original Panasonic. But Duracell are very good. All right, and that is a CR CR twenty thirty two is what you need. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up, buy me a coffee, and thanks for watching.